Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play Parking Algebra. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we're located at www.mathnook.com. We have over 200 free math games to play as well as free fun games. There's no sign-up or membership required, and all our games are free to play. If you're looking for more Algebra games, you can always go to our first front page and uh, look at the category scroller. When you see Algebra games, click on that link, and it'll take you to the page of, that has uh, all of our algebra games there. Okay, let's get to the game. When you first start up, you're going to have the uh, little intro here. Click play. And then uh, let's go ahead and click start. There's instructions. And here's all the levels. When you first play, they'll all be locked except for this first one. And uh, they're unlocked now because I've beat all the levels. Let's go ahead and look at the first level and I'll show you how to play. You've got, uh, you can restart the level here, go back to the level screen that we were just on, turn the music off, turn the sound off, and pause the game. So the object of your game is to fill in all these parking spots, and at that, when you fill all of them in, then the level will be over and you'll move to the next level. You've got to do that within the allotted time, and the way you figure out where to park is by looking at this is the instructions up here, and it says park on slot X where X equals 3 plus 10. If X equals 3 plus 10, then X equals 13. So let's use the arrow keys to park in slot 13. And get over there. And uh, you don't have to be the best driver, you can see, because it kind of uh, is very forgiving, and if you get pretty close, it'll go ahead and uh, make the adjustment and uh, square your car in the parking spot. Okay, so we've got uh, the next question, x equals 5 plus 9, and that means that uh, we need to park in, it means x was equal to 14, we need to park in slot 14. Hopefully I'll do a little better this time, there we go. Okay, and so we have 53 seconds, we've got three slots to go. Um, you notice the warnings here. The level's over if you run out of time or you hit uh, get five warnings and you get a warning by hitting a uh, car or the wall. Now, <clears throat> in this one, x equals 15 plus 6 is 21. So instead of going 21, let's go to the wrong slot here and you'll see what happens when we do that. And it basically lit up over here saying wrong slot. Okay. Well, that's how you play the game. Let's go ahead and, uh, as you look at the other levels, because as you play through the different levels, they progressively get harder. So level two, numbers a little bit bigger. And uh, I think they get a little bit harder. I have to look. So if x plus 33 equals 60, then x must equal 27. Let's go ahead and park in this slot here. And now you got a little subtraction in there. So it's getting a little bit harder. Let's look at level three. Level three, now you have a, they introduce the uh, answer of a negative number here. Look at level four. Now they have addition on both sides. Let's see what they do in level five. And you don't necessarily always see, this looks very similar to the previous one. So let's go ahead, if uh, x plus two equals nine plus 34, then uh, X would equal to 33, 31. Okay. Had to figure that out real quick. Uh, let's go to 31. There we go. And it's pretty much more of the same. They do get uh, more difficult. Just have to take my word for it. Let's look at level 6 and see if we can see what that looks like. Level 6, I believe, adds multiplication in there. Um, x equals 26 on this one. Let's go ahead and park in that spot. And now you have multiplication in there. So um, that's how you play. I hope you enjoy playing the game. I hope you visit MathNook. And uh, hope the video helps some. And thanks for watching.